For the sixth time this year, the national grid has collapsed, causing darkness for millions of Nigeria. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're tackling a serious topic that's affecting all of us, the nationwide blackout that's left many states grappling with power outages. Reports indicate that about 18 states were affected, including major cities like Lagos, Abuja, and Port Harcourt. This outage lasted several hours and caused chaos as businesses had to shut down and hospitals struggled to maintain essential services. Let's break down what happened and what people are saying about it. So, let's break it down for those who might not be familiar. The national grid is like the backbone of our electricity supply, connecting power plants to homes and businesses across the country. When it's up and running, we enjoy lights, fans, and all our favorite gadgets. But when it collapses, it's like someone turned off the switch for all of us. On October 14th, 2024, Nigeria faced yet another major blackout as the national grid failed. This time, reports show that around 18 states, including major cities like Lagos, Abuja and Port Harcourt, were plunged into darkness for hours. Shops were forced to close and people were left scrambling for solutions, using generators where they could. The reaction has been fierce. Former Vice President Peter Obi didn't hold back on Twitter, saying, The ongoing failure of the national grid reflects the government's inability to provide basic services to its citizens. This is unacceptable. He's calling for immediate action to address this power crisis. And it's not just him. Senator Ayo Akinyalure referred to the situation as a national embarrassment, urging the government to step up and stabilize our power supply. Nigerians are fed up and demanding answers. Now let's look at the bigger picture. This is the sixth collapse we've seen in just 2024 alone. Previous failures occurred in July, August and September, each causing chaos and frustration for families and businesses alike. Experts warn that this is a sign of deeper issues, like outdated infrastructure and poor management within the power sector. So what does this blackout really mean for us? It's not just an inconvenience. Many businesses depend on electricity to stay afloat, and without it, they're losing money every hour. Hospitals are also facing challenges, with reports of delays in surgeries and treatments due to the power loss. And let's not forget the families. Without electricity, we're left sweating in the heat, struggling to charge our devices and relying on candles for light. What can we do moving forward? We need to unite as a people, stay informed, and hold our leaders accountable. Many are advocating for investments in renewable energy and a complete overhaul of our current power system. It's time for us to demand change. In conclusion, this nationwide blackout is more than just an inconvenience. It's a wake-up call for us all. We deserve reliable electricity. Let's keep the conversation going. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more insightful news and discussions. Together, let's keep the conversation going and push for a brighter future for Nigeria.